I love this thing. This is the GC001 racing boat. So I will say that this is the first remote control boat I've actually ever played with. And it's been a blast. I've taken this to different ponds, lakes, and reservoirs. I just love playing with it. My whole family really enjoys playing with this. Just over the weekend, I went up to a reservoir and played with this with my nieces and nephews who are very young. It's really easy to use. It's easy to control. Just so much fun. Uh, really great toy. Out of the box, you get a really nice remote control. You get a couple of these plastic covers and an extra propeller. Uh, and then this boat itself. I'm really impressed with the design of the boat. Obviously, it's waterproof. It has tubing that will suck in water and wrap around the motor to keep the motor cool. That's pretty cool. You'll, you'll notice it has these two sensors uh, on the front and also on, on here. These sensors are what turns on the boat, so it actually only turns on when it's in water. I tested it out by kind of licking my fingers and putting it on the sensor so I could make sure it worked before I ever put it in the water, and it worked just fine. What I really like about this boat is that it's just super easy to control. I mean, obviously when you're out in the water, there aren't any obstacles or anything like that. So you can just go wherever you want. And it's a ton of fun. It goes really fast, especially if you're on really smooth water. And I think that's fun just to go straight and see how fast you can go. One nice thing about this boat is if it flips over, it has a way to correct itself and come back over. I never actually had this flip when I was using it, but just to see how that worked, I put it upside down in the water. And what you do is with the remote control, you just make it go forward and back. And what that does is it, the motor kind of shakes the boat until it goes upright and then you're good to go. Another nice thing about this is that when the battery gets kind of low, instead of just stopping, it will kind of slow down. This enables you to bring it back to shore. You'll know that the battery is getting low just because it keeps on getting slower and slower. So once it starts doing that, bring it back to shore so that you don't lose your boat. As I mentioned before, this is tons of fun for everyone. My whole family loves playing with it. We kind of have to fight over who gets to play with it. It has pretty good uh, run time, I think around 20 minutes. I highly recommend it. I think uh, I might be getting me some more boats in the future because I've had so much fun with this one.